it is Jenna with the Giano system and we're doing DID day to day and I'm here with more content from the Healing Together DID conference that I got to go to. I wanted to touch a little on epigenetics. As a giant nerd, I was so excited. I took so many notes. Also, Caleb, who, who took the majority of them, would like to point out how validating it was for him to see the difference in handwriting uh, for the note taking. Anyway, and this was from another. I should do a video on that one next. <laughs> so if you see this in the next video, that's what that's about. All right, <laughs> anyway, slides. Um, I was paying attention. This is good info. So on epigenetics, if you're not familiar with epigenetics, fascinating stuff. Um, so you have your DNA and everybody knows that DNA is inherited. Epigenetics, which literally means on top of genetics, are um, environmental changes to your DNA. So say you have a, a gene that's coded on for expressing, uh, well, we'll do an actual one here uh, for expressing um, a, a quick response time to de-escalate stress after trauma. Well, if you are in a state of constant trauma, if your environment is this, your um, epigenetics, your body can turn that off. Even though it's coded on, your body's like, we can't have this. This is, we are constantly in this state. We just need to like, we need to start responding when it hits this level and not this level. And just, so your environment affects your DNA, but not only that, it is inheritable. So that means because my mom was in a very traumatic childhood, she had epigenetic changes to her DNA that predisposed me to be reactive a certain way to my environmental stresses. It Coming out of the womb, I was primed for a traumatic situation, which uh, they were talking about studies showing when you have a match and that you have a better chance of a better chance of survival. So if you have uh, the primate study on this was uh, primate mothers who did not care for their children very well. Those children, if they were in adverse circumstances, did better because they were primed from birth for adverse circumstances. And then they would have epigenetic changes that would pass on to their offspring. If you have primate mothers who are very caring and then their offspring are in adverse conditions, they don't do as well as the others. So if it's in a uh, mismatch situation, they don't do as well. The primates who were primed by bad mothers for adverse conditions, if they're in good conditions, don't do as well because it's a mismatch situation. So back to what this means is I was primed for adverse conditions epigenetically. My mom was in adverse conditions. I was in adverse conditions survived. My brain did the job it was prepared to do. But then my children were born not into adverse conditions. They were given the epigenetics of here is trauma. And I've seen like some, you know, high reaction reactivity to stress. And I'm like, that's, that's my genome. That's what I gave them because I was primed for this, like, the world is not a good place and my world wasn't. But then moving into having children, I was in a safe place. My children were born into safety, but they were born with coding that said, you're ready for bad things to happen. And that can seem like a sad story until you go back to the fact that epigenetics are environmental and can be changed. Uh, one of the really exciting things is she was uh, talking about, I think it was the um, FKBP5 uh, gene that modulates uh, glucorticoid receptors. Um, she was saying that we can measure as the person is in uh, counseling, as they're healing, the epigenetic changes based on how their body is then producing and responding to these neurochemicals. So these epigenetic changes can then be changed again. So even though I passed on, be prepared for adverse conditions, 
my children who are, you know, now in counseling because they were prepared for adverse conditions and their body were primed for it, are learning safety and stability. And that will change their, not only their day-to-day -day life, preparing them for living a life that isn't, you know, traumatic. But then when they have kids, not only will they be better prepared to be parents, because counseling is amazing, but genetically they will pass on a modified genome from what I gave them. And it was so exciting and so hopeful to learn about. Um, I just had to pass it on. Hey, it is Jenna with Gianu System and we're doing DID day to day. And I'm here with more conference from the healing, more conference, more content. <laughs> from the Healing Together Conference. All right, let's try it again. There you go, there's another blooper for you. <sighs> well, there's another blooper as well, so there you go. <laughs> My son, everybody, who is homesick, so. <sighs> Darn you, the Rona going through our household. Okay, mm -mm -mm. we'll just clear that away.